Hi there, in this video I will show you how to make this kind of percussive stomp intro. Now please know that I'm not going to recreate this whole intro because it takes a lot of time even if we want to make for a few seconds and most steps are repetitive so I'm going to make it very simple for you by explaining the process. If I don't cover something specific that you want please let me know the timestamp in the comments so that I will explain it there. Briefly you have to import the music analyze the pattern of the beats and then place text on top of those beats. Before that select the music, that's the most important part as we make the text act according to the beat of the music. I have given a few links in the description for you to try. Once you have the music file, open DaVinci Resolve, create a new project. and import the music file then drag it onto the timeline adjust the length of the clip as you need I will keep it for 7 seconds And if you don't see this waveform, go to the timeline view options and click on this waveform button. Zoom it so you can see a bigger preview. Now analyze the beats of the pat pattern. There will be a similar and repetitive beat throughout the music and a few pauses in between. Understand that pattern. In this clip I'm using, there are continuous beats with an immediate clap for each beat and then a long pause at the end. Now we need to add text on top of it. Go to the FX library, click on the titles and drag a text plus onto the timeline. Extend it for the entire timeline so it is easy to make cuts later. If you want to keep something common in all the clips, please do it before cutting the clip so that you don't need to change it individually again. This saves a lot of time. I'm going to change the background color and text color now. It's time to cut the text clip according to the beat. You see these high pitches in the waveforms. These are your targets. Now I'm going to cut exactly where the beat and clap starts. Zoom in full and use left and right arrow keys to move between frames. Click on this lock icon so it doesn't mess with the music clip. And find exactly where the beat is starting. Then press Ctrl B to make a cut. Repeat this for the entire timeline. We are done cutting the clips. Now it's time to add the text. This is where you can control the speed of the text, add effects if you want and a lot more. There are so many possibilities, for now I will show what I did in my intro. For every beat and a clap, I insert the same text 
but for beat smaller size and for clap slightly bigger size. It gives an instant zoom transition. I repeat this for the rest of the clips. And for the last clip, there is a long pause. Here we have more chances to animate. So I'm going to animate the tracking of the text. Let me also reduce the size and go to the beginning of this clip and in the inspector tab, select this diamond icon to set the keyframe and go a few frames further and adjust the tracking. To make the animation smoother, go to the Fusion tab Click on Spline Select the animation Now click on this area and press Ctrl F and then Ctrl A Then hit S to smoothen the animation And that's all This is the basic idea of creating a stomp style intro now let's see how it looks in full screen. You can customize more by changing the colors of text, colors of background, animate them etc. Once you are done here, go to the deliver page, enter name, location, select the format and bitrate and then press on add to render queue, then click on start render and your video will be ready in no time. I hope you find this video useful. Until next time, take care.